Hi there. This is a short five minute tutorial that's going to teach you how to use the free online paint program called Clucky to complete digital coloring activities. Your digital coloring page is going to be saved as a JPEG file. Along with a file is a set of digital coloring activity directions. The first thing you need to do is access the program by clicking on the link www.clucky.com in the PDF file or copying and pasting this address into a web browser. That's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. Next, we need to import our coloring page to the program. To do that, I'm going to select the import image icon and find my digital coloring page. I have saved my digital coloring page to my desktop so it's easy for me to find. I'm going to choose for upload and then add as an image. Now I need to zoom in or zoom out so I can see the entire image along with the directions. To do that, I'm going to select the hand tool and use the plus and the minus sign to zoom to the appropriate uh, level so that I can see the image and the directions. I can also use the hand tool to move the image around on the screen as well. There are two different ways you can go about coloring the image uh, using this program. You can use the paintbrush or the fill bucket. Step one has instructed me to label and color the superior vena cava blue. To select the color blue, I'm going to move this vertical line to the correct color and then choose the specific hue of blue in the box above. All I have to do is find the superior vena cava and color in that structure blue by clicking on it. If I make a mistake, I can use the back arrow to undo my work. If I undo work that I didn't mean to, I can use the forward arrow to redo my work. Step two tells me that I need to label and color the inferior vena cava blue as well. I can use the paintbrush to fill in this structure by first choosing the specific size of the brush, so that's the thickness of your strokes, and then pressing down on your mouse or with a stylus to manually color that structure. This is a little bit more time consuming and it won't prevent you from going outside the lines, so I do prefer using the fill bucket but there may be times where you have to use the paintbrush because certain parts of the image are not demarcated with lines. Often in coloring activities, you're going to be required to label structures. To do that, we're going to add text to the coloring page. Step one tells me that I need to label the superior vena cava. I want to label my superior vena cava up here, so I'm gonna select this area and I'm gonna type in superior vena cava. I can change the font color, the font size, and the font style as I wish. And when I'm happy, I select okay. If I realize afterwards that I made a mistake, all I have to do is select the undo button. Now I need to show which structure is the superior vena cava, so to do that, I'm going to insert a shape. I want to add a line, and so I'm going to draw a line from this label to the structure. There may be times where you're asked to identify structures by circling them. To do that, all you have to do is select the circle and then draw a circle around that image. Like with the text and the coloring, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is click the back button. When you are finished coloring uh, the coloring page, you need to save your work. You can choose the save image icon, or you can go to file and save the image from here. <clears throat> Most computers will save your completed work to your download folder. So you have to go to that folder to find your completed work. From here, you can take this image and then share it with your teacher by email, or with a platform like Google Classrooms or Microsoft Teams. I hope you enjoy using Clucky as a way to digitally complete coloring activities. There are a lot of other things that the program can do and maybe you can explore those and enjoy uh, all the things that this free online paint program has to offer.